Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Lorelai Shamayo. This is the MeWe Metaphysics and Wellness Fairs for Energizing Body, Mind, Heart, and Soul. We have events throughout the Northwest and online, and we interview our practitioners and vendors so you get a chance to know who we are before you meet us at an event. I'm here today interviewing Iridescent. Iridescent, it's lovely to be here with you. It is so good to be here. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. So tell us, what is it that you do? What do you offer at our events? Yeah, so I am mainly a tarot reader. I've been reading tarot for about three years now. And then I also was recently certified in a modality called dream porting, where by using my intuition, I help people quantum leap into the things that they're wanting to manifest and clear from their life. Oh, wow. Great. Great. Well, tell me a little bit about the tarot reading that you do. And we didn't talk about this ahead of time. Do you have any decks you want to show us? Or like, how do you choose which deck you use with people or any of that? Yeah. So um, I'm still kind of like working on making my online presence, but I started a YouTube channel and things like that. So when I'm reading for like a large population of the general public and I'm not physically there with them, I'll usually just intuitively pick which tarot decks I have. I have a lot, but I'll try and pull out a couple of my favorites that are kind of my go-tos. But whenever I'm with someone, um, and as my deck grow, my deck collection grows, I doubt I'll be able to do this every single time. But right now, as it's smaller, I like to kind of lay out. Um, I use both Oracle decks and tarot decks. Um, I use the Oracle decks kind of like additional information or supplement supplemental information into the main messages of the tarot cards. So I'll usually lay out all of my oracle and tarot decks and let um whoever i'm working with pick it out of their intuition what they're feeling called on so that's a really fun way i like to do it i think as i grow in the future with more decks i'll probably do like a number them and then have someone pick a random number and do it that way so those are kind of the ways that i intuitively pick the tarot decks based on the energies and the themes of the readings mm -hmm. And do you have any particular favorite decks and like, are there any decks that you use for yourself that you don't use with clients or that you, you tend to use for yourself more or anything like that? Yeah, I have, um, I have a new deck I just got that I'm really loving using. So I'll show that and then I'll use, or I'll show um, the first deck I ever got, which is very special to me and the whole artist that created that deck. It's called the um, Prisma Visions Tarot by James R. Eads and his, um, imagery that he uses in his cards are just fantastic so I'll show both of those because he came out with an oracle deck that can be used as a tarot deck and it's just one of the coolest things I've ever seen so give me a moment great yeah yeah go ahead great to see the space behind as well I'll pause for a moment. Awesome. Yeah, sure. Okay, so this is the box. I have it in a carrying pouch right now. This is the new deck I got. It's the Cosmic Slumber Tarot um, by, uh, by, the, by Tilly Walden. So it's really cool. It kind of has more of like a cartoon anime. If anyone's a fan of Studio Ghibli, it reminds me a lot of Studio Ghibli films. It's a beautiful um, box. Wow. Yeah. Let me see if I can pull some of the cards out and just kind of give you all a sneak peek. This was the little carrying pouch it came with. So that's really cute. Um, so these are the cover, how it looks like. Mm -hmm. And then this is the artwork. So Temperance is at the bottom here. Mm hmm. But yeah, it's very colorful, uh, which I love. I use part of the reason iridescent was manifested into my life was I see a lot of uh, signs and symbols through colors um, and find a lot of meaning and messages through that way. So any deck that has a lot of uh, colors, this is the very first deck I ever was drawn to. This is the Prisma Visions. Um, and it's just a really, really cool deck. Um, something I forgot about this deck too, and you can kind of see it here. Each of the minor arcana, like the swords, the wands, uh, the pinnacles, and so on, they um, you can connect all of them in chronological order, and they play out this massive, beautiful scene 
Um, so you can even do readings that way. I haven't tried it that way yet. So he's just a really creative person. And then with the Cosmovisions Oracle, which is his newest deck, he did the same thing um, with the Minor Arcana, but he made it to where it doesn't matter which order you put it in, you'll still be able to see these images when they're connected. Um, but that is the front of the box. And so he has just really beautiful art style and symbology. So I'll show some of yeah. mm -hmm. So yeah, these are some frequent ones that I go to and that I love very much. Oh, that's great. I'm so glad I asked. They're beautiful. I feel like I have a much better sense of you and your energy and your style from seeing them. Really lovely. Thank and you. Appreciate it. How did you get started doing readings? Yeah, um, I had always been, so my two primary clairs that I operate out of is clear sentience and clear cognizance. And so uh, pretty much my entire life, I knew that I was tapped into strong intuition, but I didn't really quite know like where to take that information, especially with the area that I grew up around in. Uh, tarot was not something that was widely accepted or understood. So um, I had had a couple of tarot readings here and there, but it wasn't anything that I ever saw myself doing. I just thought like, oh, you know, every once in a while I go get a tarot reading, get a check-in. Um, and so three years ago, I was and uh, I was very much in the dark night of the soul and this very like karmic relationship. And I was really kind of at my wits and rock bottom, if you will say. And I just kind of was finally like, please like send me something. And so uh, I kind of given up and just like said, you know, universe, I'm just going to let you take it from here, which is something I constantly have to work through is just getting out of the way and letting divine uh, show me the beautiful plan that I co-created with the universe. And so. Um, I was watching YouTube and it just popped up this uh, general reading, tarot reading. I never watched tarot readings on YouTube or anything like that. And I said, you know what, I'll watch it, but I really doubt like this general tarot reading on YouTube is gonna pick up on all of these really intense energies and things that I'm experiencing right now. And boy, was I wrong. <laughs> it blew my mind wide open. It was completely spot on to the point where I was like, whoa, is there someone like watching my life right now? Like it was really wild. And so um, I was hooked ever since then. I bought that first deck I just showed you. Um, and uh, the rest is history. I started slowly coming online and putting myself out there and practicing reading for strangers on the internet. And it was just really crazy. The feedback I was getting from strangers, friends, those people who would let me read for them. So yeah, I've fallen in love ever since and don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Mm, oh, that's great. That's great. And then the new, uh, the new practice that you've been just studying and that you're picking up, what, what's motivated you to go that direction? Yeah, it was all divinely guided. I had no idea I was going to do this, but I was following I watch a lot of spiritual people on YouTube, follow a lot of different journeys. And so I was watching this creator named Sky Life, and she had gone and did a video with um, the teacher I'm studying under. His name is Daniel Raphael, and, uh, and he's known as the wizard. And he just had this really beautiful way of using his intuition to guide and do these shifts and healings. Um, and I felt very empowered and inspired by him. And so I started following his email list. And uh, as life got chaotic and I was moving through that dark night of the soul I mentioned earlier, I kind of fell away from him for a little bit, just kind of not keeping as close of tabs on him. And then one day I was in my email and he has, he offers free things all the time. So he was offering a free two day live event, a little mini online retreat. And it was a, a pay as you can afford it kind of scale. And so I contributed what I could and I decided to join in and, um, I'm someone like that has dealt with not being able to visualize very clearly, like clairvoyance is a weaker clair of mine. And so I always would get frustrated in the past because a lot of guided meditations I would do would focus very heavily on visualization. What I liked about Daniel was he not only incorporated visualization, but he kind of included all of the five senses and he really took you to a deep place. And it was the first time I felt an automatic shift and impact in that moment. Um, and then immediately saw it like reflected in my external reality as well. So after that two-day retreat, he offered a special on the class I'm in now. And 
you know, it was funny because when I first saw that YouTube video, I had kind of put this small manifestation and intention of like, I would love to train under him one day, but I never thought like, I never took it really seriously. And so when this opportunity came in, I said, okay, cool. This is like exactly the intention I put out and I'm going to accept it. And it's been really powerful. And I think really meshes well with kind of my intuitive style and how I perform my own healing modalities. So it's been a really great addition to my two will. So what does it look like when you work with people now? How do you mix everything in together? Yeah, so I'm still mostly practicing with classmates, um, but basically kind of how it works is it's very intuitively guided. So um, I would sit with a client and I would kind of ask them like, what is it that you're having difficulties with or that you're struggling with? And if they don't know right away, um, that's when I usually will guide them into or invite them into a guided meditation where we kind of do a body scan. We kind of check in with their intuition and their higher self and kind of see what is wanting to come forward at this moment to be shifted. And then from there, there's a bunch of different techniques. Uh, we use the different energy rays, the gold ray, ultraviolet ray, the green ray. They all have different things. He works closely with the angels. He's not a a religious based teacher, but he uses all of the teachings from all religions and all different kinds of ancient modalities. And so he works closely with the angels. And so we'll call on the different angels, um, depending on what's coming forward. And then we, uh, I get them to talk with that part of themselves that's feeling resistance. And from there, when the messages that part of them needs to be heard, we then can transform it and shift it into back into unity. So those are just some of the ways that we're learning. There's some more in-depth techniques, but they'd be a little hard to explain in a short interview. Yeah, that's great. I'm excited that more people will be experiencing your work. And I'm so excited by all just the growth and expansion that you're experiencing too. Like fun to, fun to see. Thank you so much. If people want to find you online, where do they go? Yes, um, I'm working on transferring my website over to a new platform, but they can still visit my old website, which is the iridescent tarot, uh, www.iridescenttarot.com. Um, and then they can also find me on Instagram at iridescent underscore tarot. And you can also find me on YouTube, I believe just iridescent tarot. I can send you that information. You can update that. But yeah, I'm slowly coming back online. I took a, I took a little bit of a break, but I'll be more active on there going forward. Great. Well, thank you so much. And for all of you listening and watching, you can learn more about all of our events at mewefairs.com. That's M-E-W-E-F-A-I-R-S.com. Thanks so much, Iridescent. Thank you, Lorelai.